Hey guys, Jessica Cabasi here. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys light setups ranging from one light to three lights. And we have photographer Jake Thomas to help us do that. Hey, how's it going? So in today's video, we are going to be starting out with one light. We're gonna keep it pretty basic. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna start off with one really big light source and see you know what you can kind of do even on a really budget kind of lighting. Budget friendly. Yeah, budget friendly because really honestly you can do so much with just one light. Yeah. And then eventually we'll build up with more and show you what we could do with one light and maybe a bounce and yeah. then two lights and three lights and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So we're going to show you guys again different variety of lights and how you can really uh, get the most out of, again, just having one light, two light, or even three lights. So let's get started with the first setup. Cool. Before we begin, a quick message from our sponsors. This video was brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or an online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Squarespace has an all-in-one platform that is super easy to use, customizable with tons of award-winning designer templates, and offers 24-hour customer service support. So whether you're a photographer like me that needs a portfolio site, or you have a small business, they have something for everyone. You can start your free trial today by going to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the video. Hey, so the first setup is a one light, super simple, and we've got our lovely model, Noah, here to help us out. So basically what we're doing here is we're taking a single light source and uh, we've just got a massive source, the biggest we can get with a really soft diffusion over that. And what it's gonna create is just a, a really soft light that's gonna fill her and give really nice transition between highlights and shadows uh, and, and really actually fill our background so we don't have any harsh shadows anywhere else. This is a super budget setup. So if you wanted to shoot portraits and you're on a budget, you could get a single light and basically I would say just get the biggest modifier you can get. And in this case, this is an 86 inch umbrella. Uh, you get the diffusion fabric over it. This right here isn't gonna cost you, even with a simple, simple light, probably more than $300, $400. So really, it's not too much to go into it. Uh, you know, that's, in some cases, that's less than a lens. Right now, I've got a Einstein, Paul C. Buff. I, I love the Einsteins. I've used them for a while now. Uh, you could also get, uh, you know, this is another option I use for background lights is uh, the DigiBees, which is a really cool budget version of an Einstein, really just lower power. These go for about 350. If you wanna go even lower than that, I started out with these things. A lot of people start out with these things. These are the Alien Bees. You can find them used everywhere. You can find them for $200, $100, something like that used, and they'll work. And then added with the umbrella, the umbrella's only gonna cost you maybe 50, 60, 75 dollars, 10 dollars for the diffusion fabric. It's not a huge investment. And then all of a sudden, you get really nice, beautiful light that you can use for a variety of different things. Let's see how these turn out. Tilt your head up. They're nice to me. Very good. Sometimes when, uh, when you got one light source, it's a little bit hard when uh, you wanna get the reflection right there because I find that if you don't have a little reflection of your light source in the eyes, it kinda makes the model look dead or something like that. It just kinda gives a lot of life to it if, uh, if I can see that little glimmer of light in there. And then open your eyes. Really nice. Cool. We got some good stuff there. Okay, so for my pictures, I wanted to add a little bit more fill on the side of her face, so we're gonna set up a V-flat. Are you it okay? Doesn't, it doesn't have to be this big. This, this may be a little overkill for you at home. You don't, if you don't have something like this just laying around your house, like in your closet, you'll be okay. Just go hit up the dollar store. You can find a really inexpensive poster board for about a dollar or two, and you can use the same thing. You can have the model holding it, and it'll bounce back to some light. 
But we're not gonna have you hold that though. No thanks. <laughs> and it's gonna just kind of take up those shadows that we're getting over here and bring them up just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that looks so cool. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh my god, it looks so cool. I love it. Okay, so I prefer the ones with the V-flat. I think when editing, I can get a little bit more detail in there with the coloring, so I definitely prefer the V-flat ones. Yeah, what about absolutely. You? Yeah, no, absolutely. The more, the more fill you can add in there, the more information that you can show, the better, because, I mean, even in post, if you wanted to go then and darken And darken side, it up, you can also you do can. that. You've got the option. We're giving you guys a lot of options yeah. here, because we like you guys. <laughs> Looking here. Okay, so this was when the V-flat was there, but we moved it closer and this was the result. So you can see that it's a little bit less contrasted now. And I actually prefer it being closer. Where's JT? Where's JT? I'm JT. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like Justin Timberlake. <laughs> We've given her a little bit of contrast on the, both sides of her, but the middle is still being really well lit softly. I like to personally do as much work as I can in camera. That way I don't have to do it in post. It just saves, because sometimes it's like, yeah, I, I, I have one professor, a lighting professor that told me, why do something for you know five minutes or two minutes in Photoshop when you can get it done right out of the gate? So the much as you can do in camera, the better. Let's go on to the second light source. Cool, setup. let's throw on another light. Okay, so for a second light source, uh, we're going to pretty much change from a really soft key light to a really hard, small key light. And then we're gonna fill it with a larger source uh, to kind of fill our shadows and make it not as harsh looking. This setup is a little more on hard lighting. Uh, we have one uh, long throw reflector up there, which has a, uh, has a thin layer of um, diffusion paper uh, behind a grid, and that's gonna give us a really contrasty hard light. It's gonna almost kind of like be like the sun a little bit, and it's gonna be right on her. And then behind me, we have a soft silver umbrella, 86 inch that uh, is gonna kinda give her a little bit of fill and it's gonna give us maybe even a little specular kind of highlight on her, but more than anything, it's gonna soften the, uh, the big shadows that the uh, long throw reflector creates. Let's see what it looks like. What you wanna do with lighting and multiple light sources is you wanna create a ratio. So one to one would mean they're both at F8. One to two meaning F8, F5.6. Um, and then contain one to four, this goes down to F4. So you, you wanna maintain those kind of ratios, otherwise things kinda look weird and wrong. So that's, that's where you gotta start knowing your math with your F stops. Then I'm gonna fail then. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it, it, it just takes I'm gonna, time. Like, I'm gonna enroll back in college, be like, oh, I need to take a simple math course <laughs> for second grade. Wow. So you've got a super harsh lighting source. Wow, that's so cool. These look great. It, it looks like it has so much dimension in the photo. Yep. So really, we're going to be playing with this big shadow that we're creating with our key light up there. Come with a negative fill. Yeah, 
This was our hard light, harsh light setup. I didn't feel like the lighting was, the shadows were as harsh here. Was it because of the big umbrella? It was, yeah. Okay, awesome. I definitely like the, these photos have so much dimension and I think editing them is gonna be really fun. So I'm really excited to see what we're gonna do for the third setup. Mm. We're gonna add another. I wouldn't, I don't even know where you're gonna add a third one to be honest. Like, <laughs> oh, I could add five in here, easy. I don't think we're gonna go that far. <laughs> we're gonna just keep it pretty. Because you want a hair three. light, you want a kicker, you want a background light, you want a push light. Come on. I just I just go outside and then if there's a street light, it's good. Sure. <laughs> the sun's out. Yeah. Which it hasn't been for the past three days, but it's fine, California. Hey, it's okay. Yeah. It's fine. Not the it goes. It's fine. Okay, so we're on our last and final setup. It's using three lights. So for this setup, we're using an 86 inch umbrella with a diffuser. Yep. And then we're using a ring, a ring light? No, no. Magnum, a magnum, magnum dish. light. There you go, she knows. A <laughs> mag, we've got a magnum dish with a little bit of diffusion and then a grid on that acting as a hair light. And then we're gonna finish by adding a strip light with a grid. That's gonna give us a nice little edge light and kinda, I don't know, give us a little definition right here. It should be interesting. Okay, let's get started with the setup. Cool. Oh god. Oh this yeah, that's really cool. Play with that the big light. Yeah. Nice to me. Nice. Eyes to me. So this light setup is a lot more than I would usually do. I, if I were to shoot studio, I usually just try to keep it simple with one light setup. So this is definitely something that I've never tried before. A lot of lights. All of the lights. Where's Kanye West? Here we go. This is another one of your songs. All of the lights. No, no one flashing with those. The first thing you want to do is turn your camera on. Uh, second thing is just make sure your lens cap is removed. And then just get Jake to come set up all the lights and just start shooting. And that's it's it. It's that easy. It's that easy. There's nearly nothing else to it. <laughs> Bring your arms up. Yeah, there you go. Yes, it's just like that. Looking here. Great. Those are awesome. Here we go. I'm elevated. Okay, here we go. This is nice. This feels comfortable. I could have one of these all the time. Yeah. Just take it with me. Does this thing come with wheels? That's what I want to know. So I can, well, I can hey, scoot on over I'll, there. I'll raise you another one. I use a little Pelican case over there that I put all my camera equipment in. <laughs> Close it, turns into an Apple box. If that were me, I'd like fall through it and then everything would. Yeah. And then I just uh, quit photography. This is, I never want to like touch the ground again with my feet. Like this is what I want from now on. Like someone to just arrange them as I'm walking. Yeah. Are you, are you trying to outdo me right now? Oh. <laughs> okay, this just looks like an awkward family picture. <laughs> so that concludes the setup for the one, two, three light setup video. Uh, how did you guys think that the setups went? It looks so awesome. Each, I think each photo looks different and really outlines the different aspects of my face. <laughs> and, uh, it's true. They no, all it's look true. different. Yeah. yeah, I really like them. Yeah, I, I definitely wanted to show a different mix of things because a lot of times when you have one light and then you add another one, usually it's just for some fill or something. I wanted to see how far you could really take three different setups with three lights. I, I liked all of them because each one I feel like has different, uh, brought different things to the table for your face. Your face <laughs> had so many different features to it that we got in each Your one. face is awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's Good been, job. there's pictures now. <laughs> We'd love to thank our amazing model Noah for posing for us today for all these light setups. Thank you, it was so much fun. And then we would love to thank photographer Jake Thomas for being a part of this. Absolutely. And, and for setting up all the lights for us. For sure. 
And any last advice that you would give to anyone kind of trying to pursue uh, more in-studio photography? Uh, don't be afraid to give it a shot. You know, we've shown it's, it's not too hard to, to get into it. The, the initial investment just for one light, get the biggest source you can, yeah. and then just give it a shot. Try. Let us know what light setup you guys like best. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye. You don't have to actually buy the V-flats. Can you buy ones? v V-flats? I think you can buy, I've never seen V-flats for sale. I would love to buy V-flats for sale instead of making them myself. It's like a mystery, like it where is. do they sell those? I don't. It's what like, kind of stores will have those? Like, the V-flat store. Pretty large. The v -flat they have store. to have really high ceilings. <laughs>